Hello folks, my name's Dave with Dave's RV Channel. Hopefully I can help you out with something that's uh, been problematic for a lot of people. Leaky shower. I've got a 14-foot uh, RV here and it's got a very small tub and shower. It's a 3-foot tub and shower. And it's uh, it leaked the day I got it. And it took me a little while to come up with a uh, solution. It's not a permanent solution, but it is a way to keep water from getting uh, all over the floor. So I'm going to show you the trick that I learned, and um, hopefully that can help you out as well. Um, I will be doing a permanent solution soon, but this got me uh, as a quick fix, and it's worked well. So here we go. Okay, so here we are in the shower, and right here is where water was constantly dripping out. Now, if you see this, please don't stop the video thinking, oh, that's all I got to do, because no, that did not work either. That did slow the water down, I will say that, but it did not fix the problem. What the problem is, folks, this right here, this entire lip, has the wrong pitch on it. It is angled down this way, and it should be angled this way. If you think about it this way, as water comes down this wall here and gets on this lip, it should go back into the tub. But if you look at it, this angle is about 5 degrees, maybe 10, going back towards the wall. Unfortunately, when they installed this, they did not install this correctly. And the way to properly fix it is you're going to have to undo all of these screws down through here lift up on this edge and then reassemble now i'm going to show you a way to quickly get around all of that if you are like i was i had to fix this thing out out when i was doing a trip i tried all this silicone through here i tried it all down through here i put this dam up that still did not fix it it did slow it down some but I'm going to show you the quickest, easiest trick that I came up with. And I apologize for the lighting, folks, but, uh, you know, you got to realize I'm in, a, in about a three-foot section here, and I do not have very good lighting. I took some Gorilla Tape, and I taped the shower curtain to where once the water come out of that shower head, it had no option but to come straight down this curtain and go down into the tub. Now, let me show you from the other side what I'm talking about. I come over here and I get my water setting the way I want to, and when I get the temperature the way I want it, then when I pull this up, as long as I keep that shower head in the off position, it's gonna stop the water flow. So I may get just a little bit here splashing as my hand is getting the temperature, but that's nothing compared to what you get from a shower. Anyway, once I get my temperature set and I pull this up, I get into the shower as I normally would and I pull the curtain around and I do not have any more issues. Now, if you notice this lip, goes all the way around this entire tub so if that angle is incorrect all the way around this entire tub it will still run to this point here and run out and it may even do it on the um, on the back side of the shower meaning back there I would call this the front and that being the back but it can run out anywhere and it's all because they did not pitch this correctly. If your RV is still under warranty, I would highly suggest taking it to the dealership and getting them to fix that because it's not going to be fun. I can tell you, for one, this plastic right here is completely bottomed out here. So once I undo this and I try to raise this right here up, I'm still going to have to shim this down. I'm going to have to cut this down some so that it will fit under this uh, uh, faucet. So I feel like that's the problem is they pushed down on this so that they could get this piece of trim in here. And when they pushed down on it, that caused it to have the wrong pitch. 
if you uh, could do fiberglass work, you might could scuff this and, and lay fiberglass in here just like Bondo and feather that out and get the pitch that you want. That may be the way you want to do it. That's, uh, you know, I, I'm just showing you what I found. But uh, this trick that I did with the shower curtain, it works great for me. As long as you keep that shower curtain to where it's on, the, on this side of the shower head. Now I can't take it down. I can't, uh, I can't move the shower head around like I would like to. You know, I am stuck with it in that position, but I do not have to worry about water coming out here. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll help you guys out as well. Well, I know for many of you that was not the solution you were looking for. I'm sure that you, uh, some of you's probably got totally different issue than what we're uh, showing here. And uh, hopefully I can come up with you an answer for yours as well soon. But for the, those of you that have the same RV type unit that I have and shower unit, uh, you can take a look at yours and you'll easily see exactly what's going on with yours. I'm sure it's the same thing I've got going on with mine. Uh, again that I'm not real proud of of what I had to do there of just taking a shower curtain and gorilla tape that's that's not the way I like to operate uh, but it is a quick fix to get you through if you're if you needing to go out camping and uh, you want to keep it dry for now that quick fix to get you through until I do a video or until you figure it out or however hopefully we can both get ours fixed and uh, everybody be happy so thanks for watching folks uh, i really appreciate it hey if y'all hit the like and subscribe maybe i can have another video out soon that can help y'all in some other way thank you so much folks y'all have a great day see y'all soon bye bye